So you're about to apply for the new EIDL grant and portal application today. But how long will it take? Will it take three months? Will it take four months or three days? Or will your money come? Jovina Light. This is L.A. Light wrapped up in a scarf in respect to the honorable head of the organization that reopened their portal today to cause more confusion and chaos to small businesses everywhere. If this is L.A. Light, as always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel whenever a house gets a piece of rib. You got a couple laughs on another video. <laughs> Um, and shortly, we're going to be not getting to any of your questions today, but really getting to a very, very important question. Can you reapply? Can you apply? And can I get this food out of my mouth to get to the next sentence? As the EIDL application window now opened up, if you don't know, let me go over what's going on today. It's a hot mess. Uh, as we were recording our new series, Tier 2, which I appreciate you for tuning in, the EIDL portal for grant and loans, which is all one and the same, reopened for all businesses. That's all businesses, not just agricultural. And we just have a new video that went live. I will up, I, it's above there. I want you. I plead you, I implore you, I want to give you my scarf, if you will watch that video before you do anything on that portal. I have a feeling some of you have already done something on the portal. And if you have, please still watch that video. And I'm telling you why. This channel, as you know, for those of the wonderful viewers who have been with us since day one, when we launched on April 25th, came onto our existence by helping people who had messed up on that application. But we had never done a video going through the application line by line. That's what that video is. I don't want you to apply for the new Streamline application unless you watch that video. It only takes you 20 minutes to get it right, to make sure you got it right when you do the application. I don't want you to do it wrong. I mean, other, <laughs> other people who are all clickbait would love you to do things wrong because then they have videos to make for the next 20 years. I don't want to be making these videos to tell you something which I can solve in one minute and that's why we did that video. It's a rush video uh, and that's why it's there. But this video is to address the issue of can you reapply? Can you apply with a different business? Where are you? What is going on with the agricultural uh, applications from last week that weren't agricultural? So let me get right to that core issue. A lot of you are new viewers to this channel who may have applied accidentally, <laughs> accidentally is between you and I, accidentally, you didn't try to tell SBA you were agricultural when you clearly weren't, you were accidentally applied for agricultural and were told, hi, I'm, you're denied because we are currently not open for agricultural. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the EIDL portal for all businesses opened initially March and April, then it closed. Then it was reopened in May for only agricultural applicants. It remained that way all the way until last Sunday, just yesterday. Uh, so some viewers, by mistake, applied even yesterday uh, to, uh, uh, to a portal that was not for agricultural. And they were summarily denied within 24 hours. If you are among those people, you're going to get a denial letter. The denial letter is going to come to the SBA, says, hi, you're denied. Okay, what's coming up after that? That's what this video is talking about. We really don't know. These are two possibilities. And I want to give you guidance as to what's going on. There's chatter, and it's purely just chatter now. And I'm saying less than, uh, less than a dozen people. There's chatter out there that SBA is now telling people who applied uh, up to yesterday who are non-agricultural that you should not reapply and that they will now convert that application into the current uh, package of, of applicants now who are non-agricultural. Let me recap that. So if you applied any time between May and yesterday and you are a non-agricultural business and you are denied because you are not agricultural, I have heard chatter from some of those people that they were told by SBA, don't reapply now, let's reopen. We will use the same application number and we will now consider your application with the current uh, pool out there. It makes sense. Um, it makes sense because it's one form. The form is no different. It's just what what is the nature of your business? Why keep on getting the same forms from different same person? Uh, now, what I recommend you to do is the following, because <laughs> this is Jovina Light. I recommend you to call SBA and say, hey, I applied um, this day in May, this day in June. I understand that I'm not agricultural. I messed up. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, I understand that now you, as of today's 
video, you have opened the portal for all non-agricultural app applicants. What should I do? Can I use that application for this? Uh, and I want you to do that right away. I want you to do that today. Uh, and I want you to get SBA on the phone. I, I expect their telephone lines are going to be a hot mess. <laughs> If you don't know that they are, then you need to watch our tier two video yesterday uh, and pull up a rib and, and some cookies because you'll get a sense of what goes on at tier two. But I, I expect it's going to be a hot mess. But I want you to call SBA before you reapply. If you have reapplied, uh, because I even said, hey, maybe you should reapply, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's nothing bad about it. The worst scenario is that they're going to say, hey, we are we are now considering your application from three days ago, which we would not have. We are now considering it, and the, and the later one is the duplicate. Back in March and April, what they did was that later applicants applications from the same applicant were tossed out and said, that's the duplicate. We used the one earlier in time. Makes sense. So if you did something in May as agricultural and you also did something today because you've already watched, because you uh, did it before you watched this video, then what they sometimes do is they'll say, okay, we're going to toss the one from today out the window and we're going to use the the prior one. I don't know. It's, it's early in this process. Uh, as I implore you to do, please drop comments because I don't know what is going on. This is a hot mess. I'm still helping the viewers of this channel who are the bread and butter who came through the mess of March and April. Some of them are still not through that mess. I have all the wonderful new viewers who are joining this channel who are now new applicants. I have some of you who are who are my next subject of matter that I'm going to discuss right now, who are March and April applicants, but also want to be May and June app. Now want to be June applicants. So I have a lot of different things I have to deal with, and I don't know what SBA policies are on all those things. I mean, that's the purpose of Javina Light. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's more than just a scarf. If I, if I could just wear a scarf and have all the answers, it would be so much easier. But you know, when it comes to uh, when it comes to Scarface, everything is very complex. So. Now, as to my viewers who uh, who applied in March and April and are contemplating to reapply, uh, I'm probably going to be doing this video to a black and the blue, black and blue in the face. But I've been doing it for the last few days, and I basically have said, if you have a totally separate business, totally separate business, you can reapply. But to the extent that what is totally separate, you need to watch those videos. And I'll do it again tonight in, EID, in the EIDL Grant video. What I mean by a totally separate video is a separate business. I don't mean you just have another thing that you do in your life, and it's also on your tax return. It's also on your Social Security number. That is not a different business. I'm sorry. It is not. I'm talking about it has a totally different tax return. It has a different EIN. It has a different bank account. It has a different uh, business operation. It is totally separate and apart from the applicant that you did in March. And the most common example that I use is that you own a, a corporation that has 20 restaurants. It's a restaurant chain. You also own a corporation that owns 20 auto parts stores. Well, clearly it's not the same business. If they were both impacted, they can both apply. And if one applied in March but didn't do it the other one because you forgot to or you got busy, now the other one can apply. It's totally a separate business. Um, but the, lot, the great amount of you are people who uh, might be a painter, and it, you do a W two as your as your painting uh, for your painting business, but you're also an Uber and Lyft driver, and you do also do a W two for your Uber and Lyft. No, 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 no. Um, can't reapply. Sorry, that's not that. That's not the purpose. And you know what's going to happen is I know there's people who don't view this channel who are going to reapply. There are people who don't view this channel who maybe you know. Uh, follow some very bad Russian bots out there are going to reapply and say, well, I'm an Uber and Lyft driver. I didn't apply for Uber and Lyft. I'm also a teach. I'm also a this and I'm also that. But they're all under their social security number. SBA is going to see that single social security number and see that they paid grant money to that social security number before they're not going to pay social security amount. Uh, they're not going to pay grant money to that social security number again. All right. So in the spirit of scarf, and don't you love how this scarf has not moved in this recording so far? I'm, I'm very, very happy. Maybe it's the fact that I had some ribs. Uh, it settled sort of me down. But um, the next question you're all going to be asking about is the grant money. Uh, is it $1,000 per employee? Yes. <laughs> uh, is it $10,000? Uh, are you are you requested $10,000? Are you going to get the full $10,000? No. Uh, you know that. I mean, I don't even have to make a recording about that. That's not changing. Um, the 
the issue about when you get grants, how do you get grants, when you get loans. Uh, Jovita Light's current policy is that you're not getting grant money unless you go through the loan process. So I know there's going to be some new people that jump in, this, in the comments below who aren't followers of channel says, I just want grant money. I don't want loan money. Sorry, it's called a loan application. It's called a loan application, so you have to go through the loan process. And if you don't go through the loan process and you don't cooperate with the loan request or whatever they ask of you, you're not going to get grant money. And what does that mean? You have to do more than just fill out a two-page, three-page application on a Monday afternoon for five minutes and sit back and put your feet up and think you're going to get ten thousand dollars. Not true. You have to. You will go through the whole entire loan process and get a loan offer, and go to a loan portal and sign in and verify and all that type of stuff. You're going to have to go through that again. You're going to have to go through that process, just like all my viewers from March and April did. And when you go through that process, when the loan is approved, then you'll get grant money. You'll have to ask for the grant money before you sign the loan. Uh, where's my grant money? How am I going to receive it? When am I going to receive it? And then you'll get your grant money. Also, if you get uh, denied the loan, you'll get the grant money. But you absolutely, and I just know I'm going to see those viewers. I mean... I just, it's a whole mindset. It really is a whole mindset. It's someone who thinks that they can go to a page and fill out a few words for four pages that takes them 10 minutes and then they get a check for $10,000. I mean, come on. This is, you know, <laughs> it's the same person who thinks that, you know, they rush to Dunkin' Donuts when they have one donut, uh, a free donut sale. And then they say, why am I getting 20 free donuts? Well, because it's only a one free donut sale. Um, so some things in life take a little bit more work and this is something that takes more, more work. Finally, if you're getting confused as I am in the mess of reporting and programming that's going on this week, let me tell you what's happening. So today we have four videos, if I can keep track of them myself. Uh, we had Tier 2, which was basically a takeoff on really what Tier 2 is doing to viewers of this channel. Shockingly, nothing that was said in that recording, with the exception of Mitch and Itch, uh, is a digression from the truth. It's actually what is said. Can you imagine making that recording and everything is actually taken from true true, uh, true instances of interaction with SBA? There's this video, Jovita Lay, which details where the moving goalposts are for Jovita and the SBA. And trust me, you need to give me lots of comments, because when you call SBA, when you get that application, you get a, an email, and I know you're going to get lots of them. I need to know what's going on, because I I don't know what's going to happen with this new process. I'm not, <laughs> that's the reason, Jovi you know, like It's the goalposts move, and you never know where they are, or what football field they're on. Finally, coming up tonight is uh, is the grant video. We're going to go through this whole nuance of uh, different businesses, different applications, and uh, and, and how you do them. So to recap, please watch that EIDL loan video from today that goes over the, the actual streamlined application. Do not apply for the new EIDL grant until you watch that video because you need to understand really what is in there. Second, uh, wait if, if you are applying for another business and you already applied in March, Please wait till you see tonight's EIDL grant video, unless you've been watching our videos for the last few days. That might have educated you as well. Um, finally, I mean, this is, this is so important, and I, I left it for the last, um, and I should not have. I want you, I'm always giving you homework, I want you to pull your Experian credit score today. You know why? Because I... I've been doing this for now a few weeks, and I just have a sense that your Experian credit score is going to be pushed through the ringer for you new applicants. So I want you to pull your Experian credit score today. It's free to pull it. It doesn't cost you money, as I, as, I, as I understand it. I want you to see it, because what can happen, if you are new to this channel, is that viewers who applied in March had 6 to 12 hard pulls from Experian. Those hard pulls made their credit score drop by 100 points. Then they were denied a loan and grant money based upon a bad credit score that wasn't bad before they started the process. So I want you to document what your Experian credit score is today. It's all about documenting things. Um, if you didn't watch the EIDL loan video, which I'm telling you to do, it's absolutely so important from earlier today, I tell you about screen grabbing your what you put in the streamlined application before you, do, before you press submit as well. 
Um, documenting all this is very, very important because we have seen the messes that SBA has done before. And I, we just have to assume that it's Javita. It's just going to happen again. Uh, if you have questions for today's video, as I'm sure you do, drop them in the comments below. Tell me how my scarf was doing, which certainly <laughs> was not as itchy or mitchy as usual. And we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. Coming up later tonight is a second stimulus check video, which, wow, uh, I thank you greatly for watching last night's second stimulus check video. We pushed ourselves into number three channel for second stimulus check uh, viewership last night. So let's do it again. Let's please try to do it again. And coming up later is the grant video. As always, stay FLA for more.